Welcome to another SPFES um, videocast. Today we have with us Dr. Mohamed Nouri Sharikabad from the Norwegian Institute of Public Health, who is a, a WHO collaborating center for drug statistics and methodology. Hello, how are you? Thank, Thank you, you so for much. for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, we have some questions we would like to ask to you about um, a little bit about yourself and um, what you do at the WHO Collaborating Center for Drug Statistics and Methodology. Sure. Um, I have been working in Norwegian Institute of Public Health for four years, where we house this uh, WHO Collaborating Center. Uh, and I'm the director of the center and work for the Department of Drug Statistics. I am a, a pharmacist by practice, uh, training as, uh, as you, uh, most of you here, yes. and uh, really happy for uh, being invited uh, by the Portuguese Pharmacists Association. So basically what we do in this uh, WHO Collaborating Center is that we make, uh, we assist WHO in making this classification, okay. ATC, uh, for, uh, on the behalf of uh, WHO. And it's a classification for uh, drugs, and we make as uh, also a DDD defined daily doses, which is the unit of measurement uh, to be able to measure the consumption of drugs globally. It seems like a very interesting work that you do. We hope so, and we <laughs> think it is necessary. Uh, uh, it is necessary. This is uh, one of the fam big families of uh, WHO classifications, and. Uh, and as we all know, drugs is a very important part of our healthcare system, and it is a, it costs a lot of money for the society. So it is crucial that uh, drugs are uh, used uh, right, and we hope that this classification uh, serve as a tool for uh, making good drug statistics, yes. uh, both for research and uh, other purposes. And to help the rational use of uh, medicine. As sure, well. that is the optimal use of yes, it. Exactly. Yes. Um, can we talk a bit more, more about the drug databases in Norway and probably a bit about the e-health systems that you work with? Yes, uh, we can do. Uh, uh, we have two main sources for uh, drug uh, data in uh, Norway. I think it's uh, quite similar to what you have here, but some differences. We have a individual-based uh, uh, database registry, which is the name is Norwegian prescribed drug uh, database, uh, data registry actually, and uh, then uh, all of the prescriptions that uh, have been dispensed in the Norwegian drug stores, the data will uh, go to that registry. So we have a complete data uh, from 2004, I guess, to, to, to date now. So that is one part and we have a even more a uh, more uh, older uh, database which the name is uh, wholesale statistics and we have data back to the middle of 70s okay. where we have sales data from wholesalers to all the other uh, okay. parts so it's a very complete database yeah, that you yes have. when you combine these two data sets then you have a quite uh, nice overview of the use in uh, at national level and if your data goes back to the 70s um, i'm sure you can do a very interesting work in statistics and how they increased or sure decreased. Uh, we have uh, we have done we have used this data both to support the uh, uh, government uh, decision makers and others uh, for a long long time so we hope that we can develop and modernize this data by basis according to the needs of today and in the future. Okay, and um, the e-health systems that? Uh, e-health system are um, a fast proceeding uh, uh, science field in itself and uh, uh, we have many registries in, uh, in Norway and I think the challenge will be that uh, we make systems that can cross talk uh, and we can put together data for all purposes, not only research uh, for academia, but for decision makers uh, based on several databases together. Uh, and uh, a good example of the use was during the pandemic where we made a, a database to, uh, which combined data from many sources and we could manage day by day okay. uh, 
how the pandemic uh, so were supposed to be handled. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, so thank much. you for joining us in another video cast, and uh, I thank wish you a good journey home. Thank you so much. Nice to be here. Thank you.